Good day class. So next to our lecture is the basic components and labels of our uh, kinematic diagram drawn last time. So our links in this uh, drawing, okay, the links in this drawing, wait a minute, okay, the links in this uh, drawing are the rigid parts of our mechanical manipulator. So it includes the joints of our mechanical manipulator. So this whole, this whole construction, okay, from the uh, base to the connection to another joint is a link. Okay, so please remember that. Please remember that, that the uh, joints are also considered as link in this kinematic diagram. So don't be uh, confused if, our, if, I am call, if I am also calling the joint a link okay, in this kinematic diagram. Okay, so links needed to be... Uh, to be to be uh, indicated with this uh, double-headed arrow, okay, and how and to uh, to show how our joints or how our links are connected to each other. So for uh, for revolute or twisting joint, especially from the base, the links are drawn from the center of gravity. Okay, so our indicator shows that our uh, joint or the link, okay, is drawn from the center of gravity up to the connection to the next joint. So for our next joint, which is a prismatic, okay, the links are drawn from the center of translation, okay. The center of translation is from the connect from the connection of the first link to the uh, prismatic joint up to the the center of uh, center of translation of our next joint. So the center of translation of the next joint is up to this point. Okay, up to the middle of this uh, next prismatic joint. Okay, because the center of translation for this joint is at the middle, at this middle. Okay, that's why, unlike the uh, second joint, okay, the start of the indicator of the link is at the connection of the two joints. Okay, this joint one and this joint two, but here. The end of the link is at the uh, center of the uh, next joint, which is this joint, a prismatic joint. Because the center of this prismatic joint, or the center of translation of this prismatic joint, as it is at the center. Okay, so because the center of translation of this prismatic joint is at this, at this, at is at this point. So we will also start again to indicate our link from that point up to the last point of our mechanical manipulator, which is the end effector. So this is the end effector of this uh, kinematic diagram. Okay. So these lines, these two-headed arrow lines, indicates the connection and the length of the links okay the links that includes the joints okay okay each joints up to the end effector okay then we will uh, label it we will label it a and start our count of a from a from uh, one so this will be a sub one then the next uh, link will be A sub 2. The third link will be A sub 3. 
Okay. So, these are also called as link lengths. Okay? These are also called link lengths. Next are the joint variables. So, these are values that change when the joint moves. So, before I explain to you what are joint variables, I will show you how to draw and label them in our uh, mechanical or in our kinematic diagram. Okay. So, let's uh, remove this first. So, for revolute joint, we will use the theta n. Okay, and its indicator is a counterclockwise arrow. A rotating counterclockwise arrow. Okay. Then, the symbol theta. Okay, symbol theta. Next, for our uh, prismatic joint, we will uh, use this symbol of indicator, this uh, arrow, okay? This arrow with a, with a flat line, okay, from its back. And uh, we will uh, name it as D, okay? So I will... Uh, Tell you later what does D means. And lastly, for our last uh, for our last prismatic joint, we will also use the same symbol of the arrow with a flat line from its uh, behind. And we will also name it as D. Or label it as D. Okay. Then like the link lengths, like the link lengths, we uh, number it from 1 to 3. So we will also number it from 1 to 3. So this uh, first, this first label will be numbered as theta, as a uh, theta 1. The second uh, label will be numbered as 2 okay and the last label will be numbered as 3 so remember class the numbering of uh, labels for joints okay will be based on uh, their consecutive consecutive orders so theta 1 is the first okay the first joint D2 is the second joint. D3 is the second joint. Okay. So, this is the label for joint variables. So, I will explain to you what are joint variables. Okay. So, let's start from theta. Okay. Theta, thetas are the rotation angles. Okay, so the values for theta or thetas are rotation angles. So rotation angles, okay, from your uh, trigonometry classes is the... Uh, Rotation angles from the circle, okay, starting from 0, 0 degree, then 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and then 90 degrees, and so on until uh, 360 degrees. Or in terms of uh, region, or in terms of pi region, so 30 degrees is pi over 6, 45 degrees is pi over 4, 60 degrees is pi over 3, and 90 degrees is pi over Okay, so we rotate our uh, rotation angles counterclockwise to have a positive theta. Okay, remember this, if the 
rotation is counterclockwise, we will have positive theta or positive thetas. If we are rotating clockwise, we will have negative rotation angles or negative thetas. So, here in uh, robotics, we always assume that we are rotating in counterclockwise to have positive theta to make our calculations much easier. Okay, remember that class? We always assume that we are rotating at counterclockwise to make our computations uh, to make our to to have an easy computations okay for our forward and inverse kinematics next so the units for rotation angles is either region or degrees so remember that we express our uh, our rotation angle or theta in a region in terms of pi, like this, pi over 2, pi over 3, pi over 4, or pi over 6, or degrees, okay? So, this is important if you are uh, program, if you are uh, code this in a program, in a programming la language, okay? Next is D. D, also known as translation angles, ah, sorry, translation lengths, okay? Translation lengths. D stands for displacement. Okay, so because these are uh, displacement uh, displacement arrows. Okay, these are displacement arrows. And they are also known as uh, translation lengths. The values are translation lengths. So it means the units are the units of length. Okay. The units are the units of length. So, it may be inches, millimeters, okay. Next, so D is always positive. Remember this class? D will always be positive. There will, there will be no negative D, okay, even though this is a displacement, okay. Uh, this is a vector quantity, not a uh, scalar quantity. But we will, we will uh, not have a positive uh, translation length. Okay. So let me explain to you why the symbol looks like uh, this. Okay. Why the symbol looks like this. So the flat line from behind represents zero, zero inch or zero mm or zero meters, zero centimeters, while D represents the translation length. So this is the uh, value, the uh, the variable, okay, the variable uh, D itself. So what it means here that uh, from zero, okay, from zero. Our length increases. Our length increases from the di this uh, direction, from the positive uh, to the pass. Sorry, to the positive direction. Okay. So because this is a variable, a changing value. Okay, we consider it a uh, a, a variable. Okay, a variable will uh, change depending on depending on the design of our mechanical manipulator okay so wait a minute and i will uh, show you uh, what is the use of of uh, joint variables okay Okay, so I will go to my MATLAB and show you how joint variables are used. So let's go to our MATLAB. Okay, while waiting, 
let's open matlab online basic maximize so this is the simulation of our uh, cylindrical manipulator in matlab so at the left side it shows here the what we call the position vector this xyz is the position vector this rpy is uh, what we call the roll pitch yo, but uh, this will be a uh, less important. Uh, this will have a least importance in our uh, in our study of robotics here in uh, robotics one. But position vector will be an important topic, okay, for the next uh, next uh, few days. Then this is these are the slide switches for our for our uh, joint variables. Okay, Q1 represents theta one. So if I move this slide switch, okay, our cylindrical manipulator will move. If I move Q2, which represents uh, D2, okay, our prismatic joints show here that it is uh, translating okay translating upward or downward okay so i will uh, move again to show you q3 q3 represents d3 okay the translation of our last joint so if i uh, move the slide switch you see you see that the uh, prismatic joint translates okay so these are the uses of joint variables. So they are uh, very useful. Okay. So we will uh, use these joint variables for our uh, for our next uh, meetings or lectures about our kinematic diagrams. Okay. So this is for the joint variables of cylindrical manipulator so i hope you understand how important joint variables are okay so that's why uh, we are uh, including it in our kinematic sorry in our kinematic diagrams okay so in our next topic i will introduce you to what they call or what we call in uh, robotics the denavit hartenberg notation so i will introduce you now to the uh, start of forward kinematics okay <music>